Jerry, Jerry, Burberry, Banana, Banana, for Fairy, Fifa, Mo Mary, Flairy. Hello and welcome to another day of drafting with me, Gabrielle Haynes. If you like the videos, please subscribe, give a like, leave a comment, follow me on Instagram. You know what I mean. Anything you want to do to support Magic the Gathering and me, Gabrielle Haynes, is much appreciated. So, jumping into the packs here. Vantress Gargoyle. Vantress Gargoyle is a good card. It's a mill card, of course. Best in uh, definitely a controlling blue deck. Um, other considerations here, Bognati is very powerful, um, Trapped in the Tower, Reeve Soul, but I think I'm going to take the Gargoyle here. Gargoyle is very powerful, um, and it can win games on its own. It can activate itself in, like, a control matchup, and it's, it's hard to deal with. The two-drop 5-4 flying is pretty, pretty nasty, so I'm going to take it here. Now, uh, we have some good options in this pack. Uh, all of the uncommons are pretty good. Um, I would rank them probably one, two, three. Um, and that's probably what I'm gonna end up picking is the Beanstalk Giant. Uh, Slaying Fire is very strong, a really good card. Battle of the Brawl also good in the night deck, but not on the power level of these two. These two are, are much closer. Uh, Beanstalk Giant, though, is a good two for one. Uh, it helps you fix your mana, which is good to take early in the draft. Um, uh, Slaying Fire would be a good, would be an okay pick here, but I think the Beanstalk Giant is just a little better. And now we have some options. We have a pretty powerful black card and Reaper of the Night, but I think the pick here is just OK Mad Adversary. Um, there's no good blue cards here, and OK Mad Adversary is a really good card. Um, it's very strong, and sometimes you can play it on turn two for a ridiculous rate, but that even if that doesn't happen, you're still fine. Um, playing it for four as a two, three, and then Trapped in the tower would also be nice here, but uh, okay, my adversary is good that we want to that we want to take it. Okay, so now we have some interesting options as well. Thunder Snapper um, works well with kind of what we're trying to do here. Uh, we are blue green, and we are not very. We don't really know what direction this deck is going yet. Um, so Thunder Snapper could definitely fit into what we're trying to do. Beanstalk Giant can also fix for the Thunder Snapper. Uh, it curves into each other, so that's pretty nice. And the Beanstalk Giant also triggers the Thunder Snapper. Good too. Um, we could also take a Sorcerer's Broom, although we don't have any food yet. Um, and also a Secret Keeper could be a nice play with our Vantress Gargoyle. But I think that I'm going to get... I think that there's a. It's nice to see this Thunder Snapper pretty late, followed by two decent blue cards. So and a Sorcerer's Broom is could be okay here since we don't know what we're doing. But this seems like a, a really nice card. It's a very efficient card, and there's a high chance that we wheel a Secret Keeper anyway, which is probably the other real consideration because it goes with the Vantress Gargoyle. So I'll pick the the Snapper here and see. So now we have a couple options between Sorcerer's Broom and So Tiny. Uh, I think So Tiny would work well in this deck um, because, of course, the Vantress Gargoyle and uh, a Secret Keeper, it probably actually won't wheel being that was pack four, so. I don't know. But anyway, so Tiny works with the Vantress Gargoyle, and it is removal that we do need. Um, green and blue aren't the most uh, removal-heavy uh, colors, so taking removal when we can seems good. And it's over like Sorcerer's Broom again, which uh, we don't know if we could utilize. Uh, there are some okay red cards here, but... And 
And now I'll pick the Secret Keeper. Actually, never mind. I think we got to take the Lucky Clover here. Um, that's a very late Lucky Clover, and it works really well with a Beanstalk Giant um, and any other adventures we pick up. Um, so I think I got to take the Clover here. It has a lot of upside, um, and it's very late in these packs. We're, we do want to probably pick up any Secret Keepers we can, but Lucky Clover is just too strong. Any Secret Keeper doubles itself with Lucky Clover, of course. So now we can probably just take Runaway together. I don't really like Transformation. It's fine. Um, it doesn't really... It's not a great removal spell. Um, it's just okay. I think Runaway together, even though this is a little... Uh, you don't need to pick Runaway Together that highly. I think it's just a, a fine card. And the only card that's okay here is probably the Prized Griffin. But we could take the Halberd just in case we want to pivot into a more aggressive deck, which we are set up well to do. We don't even have any... We don't have secret keepers or anything, so we could just be like uh, an attacking uh, Simic deck, which which could be fine. Uh, we're just going to open up Oko next, um, so maybe I'll take the turtle here. Uh, pick 10. I think we'll just take the Squire. And this is the aggressive card that I'm talking about. If we're able to wheel a whole bunch of these, um, then we probably are going to be pretty pretty nice and aggressive. But we did wheel the Secret Keeper pretty much as expected, so pretty happy about that. Wow. Wow. That's too much. That is too much. Last pick, Secret Keeper. That is too much. Holy sh magoo. All right, this pack is stacked. Amazing, amazing pack. Um, there are some great cards here, uh, but I think it's just got to be the Festive Troll King. The Festive Troll King is so broken. I mean, it comes down. It's so hard to deal with. It's just a real pain in the butt. I mean, it's hard to cast. I would also be really happy with a Beanstalk Giant here, uh, but I, it's kind of hard to pass on the, the Feasting Troll King in a way. I don't know. It is close though. Out Muscle also would be an amazing pickup for us. Beanstalk Giant works well with the Clover, which is something. Wow, this is such a tough pick. Um, they are both two for ones. That's what's that's the thing. Troll King and the Beanstalk Giant do do both things the thing is beanstalk giant somehow is just more usable i mean you can use it turn three right after a lucky clover which does a lot um it's more castable the problem with the troll king is that it can get stuck in your hand very easily and man this is a hard pick i don't know i think it's actually right just to go with the beanstalk giant here it is kind of crazy but we don't have any food production yes of course the troll king does maximize you know it does produce food for itself however um you if you're able to utilize the food production then it's a lot better i'm gonna pick the, the beanstalk giant here kind of nutty but beanstalk giant is just really good um and we're very happy to see a Merrileaf pixie uh that's great gold card for what we're trying to do um there is an improbable alliance here which is really good but we're not in red toon veil tree folk would also be great and we got really nice another beanstalk giant which is kind of nutty um or turn into a pumpkin i think i'm still on the beanstalk giant here turn into a pumpkin is great don't get me wrong but being able to lucky clover into beanstalk giant even just Beanstalk Giant turn three is just a pretty nice play. I mean, we don't have any fives yet to to do that, but 
we're going to be pretty happy maybe throwing in a wildwood tracker so we can play it on one or secret keepers that we can pair with a three drop and then into the one drop uh i think i've got, got to take the beanstalk giant here so now uh we have some options there is a pretty late glass class glass casket here um but I don't think we're going to be into that quite yet. Um, there are some options between opt, didn't say please. Um, we have some powerful cards, so opt could be okay. The problem with something like didn't say please is that we don't leave up a lot of action. So we're pretty much tapping out most of the time. So I think I'll just take the opt here. Carver would be good. Is Carver better than Opt? Well, Carver with Lucky Clover is not that exciting. Uh, I'll take the Opt. If we had an Innkeeper, then I would be more interested. So now we have an interesting pick here between Secret Keeper and Once in Future. We saw that other Secret Keeper come out around ridiculously late last pick, which probably should never happen in real life. Um, but I'm going to take the Once in Future here and just get a little greedy. Once in Future is a very powerful card. It works. We, we might not even be mill. Um, I'm not trying to be mill. It's just kind of happening with all these really late Secret Keepers. But we have a really um, powerful deck. We have some powerful cards. Extra card draw with a snapper. Ramp. Tons of ramp. Um, so Once in Future kind of works. Uh, curious Pair is an adventure creature i don't know if we're going to play it and we did we wheel this out muscle no this is an, another out muscle which is amazing for us another pair tracker um, these cards don't really matter didn't say please wield this is a sideboard card so we didn't get the Secret Keepers back this pack, which is kind of interesting. Um, not really sure what that's about. I don't know how this stuff works, but it's okay. How can you get one last pick and then not wheel the rest of them? Doesn't make a ton of sense, but... Brazen Borrower is a good card. Um, it's got pretty flexible cards it's got a great adventure on it doing this with the clover is just fantastic um, i think it's the obvious pick here uh turn into a pumpkin would be great but borrower it's actually not a card i've ever played with but seems fantastic uh so we could have had a witch's oven broom combo going but i don't think we need it i'm pretty pleased with where this deck is at right now i think we could take a a Garenbrig Paladin, just as another big stompy. Um, these are three drops. I'm going to lay out the deck a little bit. So I think we don't want to play these Secret Keepers. They are adventure creatures, and they work well with the Lucky Clover. But we're not trying to mill. I think we're kind of an aggressive deck, which means that that can go out. Although we're kind of mid-rangey. Hmm... We could look to stop the ground with our big dudes. This is a late game card. Late game card. Okay, so this so we are pretty compact. I mean, our highest cards are out muscle and uh, you know the four drops here. So I think another Garen Brig actually kind of makes sense. We're going to be able to play this as a five five. Um, and just attack very powerfully. Uh, Clockwork Servant would be okay too, but I think we have enough threes. Well, we don't have that many threes. We only have four threes, but I think having some some um, I think having some more a little more oomph is nice. Um, and it works with the Thunder Snapper as well. So. That's a very late, well, it's not late, it's pick three, but pretty sad to see Sir Conrad here. Broken card, of course. Um, I think we'll just pick up Carver. Uh, 
And another Lucky Clover. Wow. And a Rose Thorn and a Tree Folk. Holy mackerel. The problem is we don't have a ton of adventure stuff. I mean, we have these cards, return target and online permanent. This with Clover is really nice. I mean, being able to return two things for two mana, like basically double, I mean, that's, and then get a creature out of it is really broken. I mean, uh, a Rose Thorn Acolyte would be a great addition as well, um, but I don't know, Lucky Clover seems like it has so much upside. We are in the last pack. Uh, we want some tree folks. We want one of these to wheel badly, but I'm going to take the, the clover here. So we probably don't want to play the first so tiny since we're not really on the mill plan anymore. A wildwood tracker would be good for what we're trying to do. Um, maybe attack them, which is, I think, what we're trying to do. Uh, Sage of the Falls could be an okay for us to draw more cards. We don't have any humans, actually. Uh, so, I have all the curious pairs, but I don't really want to play those. So we are kind of lacking two drops for an aggressive deck. So I think we need to play more of a like a longer term game, which the, the Sage of the Falls works nicely with. Um, again, we don't have a lot of card draw here, so having something that can draw us cards with our cheap spells is pretty nice. Uh, we could take a random two drop in the Merrily Rider, but doesn't seem great. I think Opt could be okay. Um, how many suits and stuff do we have? We have four artifacts. Uh, Bantress, two Clover, and this, so I don't know. I'll take Opt here or another Runaway together. Maybe another Runaway together. Uh, Griffin could be okay. Take the three drop. Garenberry Carver. So unfortunately, we didn't get back either of those uh, cards that I wanted to wheel. So that's pretty disappointing, but so it goes. So <clears throat> if we have double clover out, we're milling for 12. And we do have double runaway together in this deck and we're not that aggressive either so like like we don't have a lot of early drops um, we have a few but Vantress Gargoyle doesn't attack Merrily Pixie we probably want to be using for mana um, that's not any high power at all so I think Halberd can just go um, I think we'll put back the Secret Keepers <clears throat> since now we have double clover uh, griffin is not really what we're interested in um, garenbrig carver for that same reason is not re really what we're interested in um, once in future is good tall's a beanstalk we definitely don't need um, Maybe we should just take out these Wildwood Trackers, since we're not really trying to attack them. And that's, I think, the deck. Um, mm, yeah, I mean, we could put in some more two drops, like the Curious Pair. So that makes us food that we can then... Uh, give us a little more sustain since we don't have a ton of stuff to do uh, early on. Uh, we could cut a Garenbrig Paladin, but that's pretty good with our Snapper. Um,
So, yeah. I don't know how this deck is going to work, but we'll see. Could go into the more aggro version with, like, these cards. Um, but the problem is we don't have a ton of two drops. Like, we could put in a Garen Big Squire but, and a Curious Pair, but that doesn't seem like really what we want to be doing. All right, that was a clear mulligan, uh, but we're gonna keep this. Uh, we can probably just bottom this island. I mean, could also bottom the Sage of the Falls, but we don't really want Triple Island. I mean, it's fine. Triple Island is fine, but we have an opt anyway to get another island. Like, really, we want a green. That's that's what we want. So, I mean, we want to find green right now with this opt. Sure. Definitely not out muscle. So we did find the green. Great. Cauldron. Okay. Double Clover. So hopefully they leave this pixie around for one turn so that we can just drop our Sage of the Falls. So I'm pretty happy they didn't do it on their turn because now we can just go like this. Yeah, he has a counter, but the problem is if we just don't wait around and we don't do it, he's just gonna kill this and then we're in the same spot, so. I don't know what's right to do there. We really didn't want that countered since we don't have any action and it would have drawn us cards, but I don't know. That's really unfortunate. We didn't even represent counter spell here, which is pretty stupid. So, just lost a ton of momentum with that playing into that counter spell. It's probably a bad play. Should have attacked here as well. So tiny. I guess that will go on the bell. Moon with scavengers. Now we get to mill them for a million, but I think it's too late. Uh, I think we're just gonna lose this game, but let's see.
all the mill. They're at 12 cards, so actually if we rip another Secret Keeper, anything is possible. <laughs> if we get Runaway together, um, Animating Fairy, that's gonna, that's bad. So we're gonna take We're going to take 8 here, 9 even, so we could chump block like this, but it doesn't matter, um, we're taking 5, 7, we chump block here, we kill this, I don't think it matters. Beanstalk Giant. Unfortunately, that's not going to get it done. Um, just a little too slow. This this hand was a little too slow. Uh, I played into their counter spell, which probably was a mistake. If I had chump locked last turn then I think I still would have been dead. Well, that was unfortunate. So, I think the deck's fine. Uh, just made a mistake with that counter spell. But who knows? <sighs> All right, opponent goes first. Um, I think I'll keep this. We have Beanstalk on three. So we can fix for a mana, even though we really want to. Well, let's go. I think either if we draw, if we draw any land, we'll have a play on three, and we already have a play on two, so it's good. This deck would have been a lot happier with more secret keepers, but wow, that's a scary card. So this game is not looking good. <laughs> oh my god. This game is not looking good. How is it possible to lose on turn two? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, so we could brazen borrower but that seems really bad return target non land per yeah that seems really bad so i'm just going to mill them here double ginger brute carver so this guy is basically mono adventures from what i understand okay he's not <laughs> So, unfortunately, we don't get the land, but we did get a nice, pretty, pretty nice play. Got pretty lucky on that one, but of course he has the removal. Let's see. <laughs> so, any land will activate Beanstalk into Secret Keeper. Okay.
Rough. Okay, uh, so I think we attack here, try to hit our land drops. Perfect. Alright, so we got the land. Does that mean we want to flash in the Brazen Borrower? Probably not. I think I'm just going to go ahead and Beanstalk and then play a Secret Keeper. Do we need triple... We do need more green, but I we just can't afford not to get a blue right now. Also play the if we draw land we can just play the the, the Garen Brig as a uh, as a four four we're not attacking anytime soon so four four will definitely stabilize the board pretty nicely um, and then hopefully we'll be able to get there he got so much value already out of the Edgewell um, giant opportunity pretty glad that's not making a seven seven honestly. <laughs> So here we have a couple options, it's um, Beanstalk Giant, uh, which costs 3, and then we'll have 3 available, um, So, and then we could play a Brazen Borrower, but the Brazen Borrower is not really good for us, um, I think we just kind of want to stop taking damage so that we don't die to the Witch, so I'm just going to play the Paladin here. I guess I can attack first. So, could also go Tome, Beanstalk Giant into Tome Raider, which is a really good turn. I um, think that might be worth it. We really do need to develop our mana, we just need to get all our cards onto the battlefield. And we're not taking that much damage this turn, we're taking four. But we don't have any way to gain life, and the Tempting Witch is going to deal us way too much damage in the meantime. We could also Beanstalk, and then So Tiny. Which means we're taking three. Hmm. Or we could just run away together, but then he'll draw more cards unless we bounce the witch, but that will give him more food. Kind of a hard spot here. Could also use, yeah, it's not good though. Uh. I think we just try to stabilize him. Also, since we already hit our land drop, it's not it's much better to try to hit our land drop for next turn. Um, so going Beanstalk into Tomb Raider makes a little more sense, and then we can have So Tiny up as well. So I think this is okay. It's close. And they're not attacking at all, which is fantastic for us. And we do an, a Drew into another Beanstalk Giant, so I think I will go Beanstalk Giant into Tomb Raider. We'll get a green this time. So 
So we could attack with the Okame to continue to try, but I guess we should have done that pre-combat. Um, I guess we can still get to go for it. We definitely should have done this with So Tiny up and all our instants up, but <clears throat> I think it's still worth it, especially since he didn't attack last turn. Um, and now we have a So Tiny up, which is great. Pretty happy that the opponent is taking damage here. Um, this, this game is going to come down to damage one way or another. So we are getting very close just to killing them. We have seven on board, um, two guaranteed basically. With we need to attack with Paladin basically um, and Tome Raider, I think. So we can set up lethal for next turn. Uh, they don't have really any way to block the paladin. We also have a, a bunch of nice options between Runaway Together and Tempting Witch. We can basically stop it from doing us damage um, for a couple turns, which is pretty nice. So I think I'm going to attack with the paladin here. And then we could even run away together the witch and then replay the paladin. So it's a 5-5. Five five. I don't really think we need to draw any more cards, so I'm not attacking with the, the adversary anymore. Um, I'm just going to attack with the paladin and the raider. So, unless he has a pump spell, he can't block this, but if he does have a pump spell... Alright. So now we could also, end of turn, flash in a Brazen Borrower, so that can also do lethal to him. But, what should we do? We could play Sage of the Falls, Beanstalk Giant plus Sage of the Falls. I think we just want to have our instance up here. We don't really need to add to the board. Um, the only play I could think, well, he's gonna tap, he's gonna tempting witch in response. So that's not amazing. So I think I'll just play the sage if we go three. So we'll have five, we'll have six, but then we don't have our other stuff up. So if we just go five for sage, we'll have three for run away together and a borrower I think I just want the body in play over just playing like a beanstalk giant or something I think that's better just get rid of the land and turn So in response right now, we could um, send it back to their hand so that they don't do it again next turn, but they're still dead right now, so I don't think there's any reason to do that. And if they play like something that can block the Paladin, then um, I can bounce it pretty easily. I could also so tiny it so it actually can't block the paladin. Monsieur. Monsieur. 
So after that very impressive start, the opponent really kind of tapered off. Uh, once we play the Paladin, we're just able to stabilize and they have an attack since. Uh, Gendrick Squire is fine. So I think he's just dead, but he had to give us a little bit of extra waiting. Thank you opponent, appreciate your honest feedback. So yeah, the deck performed relatively well there, I mean, got the win, and we just got kind of mana screwed, but we got out of it. So, if you liked it, let me know. Let me know. Shoot me in the comments. DM me. Send me a how's a doozy. You know? How's a doozy? 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 Hey, how's a doozy? One, two, three, one, two, three, hey. One, two, three, one, two, three, hey. Okay. Pona goes first. I think there's a hand we can keep. Not a ton of action, but. Beanstalk is good on turn three. Maybe we can even draw. Pecan Fern, huh? Okay. So, a mill deck, and we even got the Clover for the Beanstalk. How about that? Witching well, I threw my witching no well. Two top, that's pretty interesting. And a Secret Keeper. So if we draw a Secret Keeper, we can just Beanstalk Giant and mill them for eight. <laughs> That's just so nasty. That's so nasty. All right, so then I guess we're gonna play the, the island so that we can, I guess we get double island and mill them. Is that worth it? Seems bad though. We're just gonna get another Lucky Clover eventually, so I don't think there's really any reason to do that. Double Lucky Clover. That's the only thing I do. Fortunately, no play though after to follow that up. But so this guy's stuck on land. Um, so I guess we can just Sage of the Falls here. Sage of the Falls or Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Um, Sage, I don't know. Another beanstalk? Uh, I think we could just get rid of the Tomb Raider here. I kind of want to keep the land so we can just play our beanstalk giant next turn. Um, uh, Tomb Raider's not really doing anything. We can draw all the cards we want with uh, the Sage of the Falls, so. Okay. 
run away. Okay. We got no counter up, so you're pretty good just to play this Beanstalk Giant. It's gonna be really hard for him to deal with multiple Beanstalk Giants, I think. Uh, I don't think we want to adventure this Beanstalk Giant either, because he's trying to mill us, so... Well, there's a second runaway. So... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? This guy's milling us with one keeper. <laughs> so now he probably has a counter. I guess he doesn't. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you for real? Eight cards left. <laughs> With one, all, all the cards he played were <laughs> Merfolk Secret Keeper and Triple Runaway. What in the world? Doesn't play the. What the heck? What the heck? Does he have a counter spell here? Like. What well, I guess that's the only thing you could have. So if we play this, then what? I really want to be able to outmuscle the secret keeper, but we don't have anything that we can do that actually, except for this beanstalk giant. But what does he have for four? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, he wants to activate the witching well. Ah, so I don't think he has a counter here. And he forgot to activate it. That's good. Apprentice. Sure. Two bottom. So, basically we're dead? Is that what you're saying here? So if we out-muscle... Can't play the Garen Brig? Jeez. Play the Garen Brig? Then he's only taking... Man. I think we just lose. Oh, I guess we could run away together? some point. We're just gonna die though. I think we need to get this evasive paladin in play somehow. But maybe we just need the power of the beanstalk giants. Uh, we're just dead next turn though, right? Yeah, we're just dead. We can't win this turn. We could run away, attack, like, we, we can't win. There's no way for us to win. I think we're just dead. Can we do 18 from here? We could bounce this. It sucks. So we could out muscle, then tap this for mana, play that. That's just game though. Is 
Is once in future in here? No. Should have done something, but another lucky clover in there, but Wait, hold on. He didn't have him. Oh no. I think I just messed that up. Well, that was a big mistake. I don't know why I just didn't do anything there. So tiny. the land pre-combat. Well, I don't know. I think I had a chance. I just messed it up. Oh. Got all the so tinies. Card left. Funeral. It's exactly five. Wow. Well, okay. If he has nothing, we still have a chance. So we can do four. Ten. Twelve right now. And then win next turn if he has nothing. So anyway, we can't lethal him this turn. So I think we just attack, right? We can do four, yeah, we just attack. This guy had only one secret keeper in his entire deck. I don't get it.
So if he had a runaway, I think he would just use it. Probably should have out muscled here. So now we lose. Yeah, so we lost because we didn't out muscle there. But I don't know. I don't know. That was a weird game. Should have won. Not paying attention. Got confused. That was an unfortunate, unfortunate situation. Goodbye, yellow brick road. Definitely should have attacked there. I don't know what happened that turn. It's okay, we're back in it now. Giraffe mage. Okay. <clears throat> Taking one here from the guide mother. I'll just go ahead and uh, beanstalk giant now. For a green. Could have got a blue so that the so tiny is up, but. Now we just play our adversary here. We could also, eh, I think it's good to get this off. We're stuck on land as well, so. Oh, they have their removal, so, of course. All right, um, so now we can do something else. Uh, maybe Beanstalk Giant, Mill, play a Circuit Keeper. 
I don't need even to mill them necessarily. Um, we could just play the Secret Keeper as is. That's a scary card. So we could run away something together soon, um, but let's just go like this, draw a card. So now I think end of turn we'll just run away something. We could even, if they cast an adventure spell, we could even run away the Pathlighter so that they don't get the counter. So that enters the battlefield, yeah. And that'll be a pretty nice uh, game for us. Pretty nice game for us. What is that game? We got a big game. He talks a big game. So now I think we'll just take the damage, or, or actually we'll just block here, but we'll, we won't, uh, we'll just take two from the path lighter. Because if they do something like, I, I don't know, we, we really want this uh, so tiny run away together to hit something nice. So now exactly, so now a 3-4 flyer is a much bigger problem than a 2-3 flyer. Um, could have also just a <clears throat> so tinyed it, but got a little value this way. Now we can play adversary plus pixie. Seems pretty good. <clears throat> Especially since they're stuck on land. Putting something back in their hand has a lot of value. Also, they didn't get a counter. So, it's a pretty nice play. Next turn, we can play a giant, but we probably want to so tiny this. Can we get anything back once in future? Not really. But we can attack also with the Okane uh, to see if we draw something good. So, this is a weird attack. So, we'll take three, or two rather. Okay. So, what we can do now is just attack with the adversary, and we'll we'll just end up probably so tining this. Does that make sense, though? Um, the thing is, we could also let it trade, but trading with this keeper of the keep, knight of the keep, is not very good. So I don't think we actually want to attack here because we're just going to play a Beanstalk Giant and keep up one so tiny for this Tactician. Ginger Brute, okay. Ginger Brute is also going to be a problem, but we got to take care of that uh, Tactician first. It's dealing us more damage currently. So unfortunately this Knight of the Keep is stopping our Okane from attacking, I mean trading that, this seems like really bad, but 
we may have to. We don't have a ton of options here. Uh, well, and we have once in future, maybe. So I think it's maybe okay to trade. Um, this beanstalk giant, the beanstalk giants are starting to get do start are going to start to do a lot of work. Uh, probably should have attacked with the pixie as well, since now we have enough for both. should have attacked with the pixie here. Now next turn we'll be able to once in future and just play the adversary and like Tomb Raider or bring back Runaway together which could be okay depending on what they play. Okay. Tutu Flyer, Flutter Fox, and a Path Lighter. Okay. So I think we should just so tiny the flutter fox, but also so tiny the ginger brute. But two is more than one, and they will have to start chumping. And ginger brute chumping is a lot. Um, well, they might also just block. So I'm gonna hold on to this so tiny for now. Actually, maybe it is just worth it because again, they can't really just take 16 damage right now. So, they're gonna chomp one here and they might chomp another one there. And now I'm happy even to just once in future on their turn. I mean, we could once in future bring back so tiny and run away together, and then just like so tiny this, and then run away together something, so that we just come in for the win. And if we show it to them now, then it's not going to be worth it. So. I guess I should have played the land also, missed another damage that way, but. Because if they just tap out here, we win. And we can also react to any anything they want to play, really. So hilariously, we had the <laughs> we had the hard counter <laughs> to his round cloak giant with two bean stocks, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, interesting that he's attacking here. I think he's just dead. If we draw land. I think we can just take the damage. And then now we can get back uh, like Tomb Raider and run away together. Tomb Raider can guarantee that we... We can also just go ahead and bounce it now. But I think it's okay to draw first. So yeah, now I think we just win. Since we can wait, go like this. Yeah, instead. Well, actually, I'll probably do this one. Got the giraffe mage. Da, 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 dead. All right. 
And that was a good game. On to the next one. One goes first. Um, I think we'll keep this. Could be bad, but I guess leaving up. I don't know. Got lucky there with the green, but I mean, lucky clover into beanstalk giant is a really good, a great play. Of course, facing Sir Farron, get a little more sketchy, but. We're gonna take a lot of damage, unfortunately, since we got way too many lands. <laughs> so, we still have two turns before we can play the Beanstalk Giant, unfortunately, so I don't know, we might just be dead. <laughs> Turn two, Sir Farron, with nothing to block is really bad. Giant Skewer as well, oh gosh. All right, Brazen Borrower is a freaking great draw. Um, so we can actually bounce both their cards. And then didn't say please something actually. That was an actually amazing draw. Wow. He didn't even tap correctly to put down the Surfer in this turn. The blockers, he might choose to pump something, but. The opponent feels so sad right now. <laughs> He's so sad. Opponent is so sad right now. That was pretty sweet. We got pretty lucky there. Now we can even just play the borrower if he doesn't have something good to counter. She probably won't. Okay. Oh, he's going to... But that doesn't work. Wait, what is he doing? Add one man of any color? What is he doing? He has to sacrifice the egg if he wants to do that. I don't mind countering the Sir Farron either. Why not? Because we're going to play the Beanstalk Giant now, and Sir Farron... I mean, maybe Sir Farron... Smitten Swordmaster, huh? I think that's fine. run away together, that's good. So we just pulled ourselves out of that game. Crazy, crazy, crazy draw with the Brazen Borrower top deck. Pretty happy about that. Uh, next turn we're gonna hold up counter spells forever. No! So, unfortunately, that was pretty bad for us. Um, oh, should have attacked. Oh my gosh. There's damage there. Sure. Now we're just going to run away together. And then we're going to play Brazen Borrower to return some permanence to his hand. Probably Giant Skewer and a... Could even return the food. Definitely returning this. 
Maybe we just return the skewer. Brazen Borrower doing a ton of work this game, paired with our Lucky Clover, buying us tons of time. I think we'll just counter this now. Unfortunately, though, we are out of gas, so... Oh, now he plays the... <laughs> Alright, so... I'll just play this now. I guess I could wait, technically, but I don't think it really matters. I'm not going to play the Secret Keeper this turn, because there is a possibility that we draw Lucky Clover off the top, which will mill him a lot more. If we don't draw the Clover, I'm just going to play the Secret Keeper, because we can't block uh, anything, basically, now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, um, we're going to take some damage here. Could keep two lands in hand for the Reaper, or we could just try to play everything out. Skewer on the Swordmaster makes sense. I think we just have to block the Acolyte right now. Merrily Rider, that's pretty scary. Beanstalk Giant is a good draw. Um, so I think we just end up playing it here. I think we have enough mana to do so as well. Beanstalker, Beanstalk Giant is pretty nice. So, yeah, but they have a Merrily Brider that can force something to block something, but I guess they don't have a great attack here. Um, it's going to be hard to get past the Beanstalk Giant profitably, but if they, and if they attack all, then they don't really have lethal. They could force us to... Uh, we could just chump block, so I don't know. I think we're in an okay position. Reaper, though, is not great. Uh, we're gonna have to chump block with a brazen borrower, probably. Probably should have kept a land in hand as well. Fortunately, though, our deck is pretty. Whoa! Our deck is pretty much all gas from here on out. Um, since we basically have no lands left. I think this is an aggressive attack from the opponents. They could have definitely forced us to block a Brazen Borrower. Oh, actually, it doesn't really work. That's funny. Um, I was going to say they could force the... Oh, wait, what? Oh, they did both! Oh my gosh, we're just dead. Wow. That was... Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's right, they could sacrifice two. They got us. They got us big time. Wow, wow, we were. Alright, that was pretty unfortunate. That's it.
Well, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. If you liked it, let me know. But, uh, yeah. Made some mistakes that game, but... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Alright, thank you for watching.